guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for watching my vlogs till now if you're new here i am prerna nikam if you want to know more about me you can visit any of my social handles they are in the description box right below so i am someone who creates content about fitness fashion beauty makeup and travel if there is something really exciting to show so if you're someone who enjoys watching such vlogs then please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified for my next vlog so without further any delay let's get into the vlog first of all sorry guys second chapter aane mein thodi deri ho gayi kyunki beech mein thode dusre vlogs chal rahe the but i promise ki ye fitness ki series main abhi back to back complete karne wali hu so by the title you must have got to know what is today's topic that is all about sleep and how it affects if not done in proper way on your health on your mental well being on your emotional well being and your brain functions so we certainly want to fix it early in life sleep is one of the most important and non ignorant part of our life most of the part of our daily routine and all together a life we spend sleeping so if not done in proper way it can give you disadvantages rather than give you good benefits out of it which you will notice on long run not immediately such as hormonal imbalance hormonal imbalance will bring in the thyroid issues pcod pcos and also insulin sensitivity which can turn into diabetes permanently it will not help you lose weight no matter how many exercises that you do and do a good diet but if you're not sleeping well it will not contribute to good health it can also affect your heart health on a long run firstly we will discuss sleep cycle or stages of sleep our body is in sync with earth cycle our daily cycle consists of lunar cycle and solar cycle in simple words sun cycle and moon cycle that is day and night so as our day is divided into two parts one is when you are awake when one is when you are sleeping day and night so sun indicates light fire so when sun comes up you should wake up and not sleep as the sun indicates fire it means your body functions are going to start with it the lunar cycle that is moon which is calmness darkness or space when you should be resting and restoring for the next day also when the moon is up you should be sleeping so now let's discuss sleep cycle it is divided into two parts that is rem sleep and non rem sleep rem is rapid eye movement sleep and non rem is non rapid eye movement sleep first we'll discuss rem sleep rem sleep is a beginning phase of a sleep or you can say a dream phase of a sleep it happens usually when you have been learning some a uh, new skills or some intellectual activity happens throughout the day then most of your uh, sleep part consists of a rem sleep and lesser of the non rem sleep next part hai non rem sleep non rem sleep mein teen stages aate hain first aata hai light sleep second aata hai restful sleep third aata hai deep sleep a non rem sleep raat mein zyada kab hoti hai jis din aap bahut zyada physically exert hote ho ya fir aapka bahut din हेक्टिक गया होगा तो आपका रात का जो स्लीप का पार्ट होगा वो ज्यादा कंट्रीब्यूट होगा नॉन रेम में और रेम का पार्ट होगा कम थ्रू आउट द नाइट यू कीप ऑन रिवॉल्विंग इन बिटवीन रेम एंड नॉन रेम स्लीप इन बिटवीन 60 टू 90 मिनट्स एट आर डे टू डे हेक्टिक स्केड्यूल्स ओनली टू टाइम्स कैन बी प्रिफर्ड either you can sleep at 10 to 11 and wake up at 6 to 7 which will give you some little benefits but if you want the maximum benefit from sleep you should be sleeping by 9 to 10 in the night and wake up at 3 to 4 3 to 4 ke beech ka jo time hota hai usko brahma muhurt bola jata hai is time pe darkness bahut zyada hoti hai light nahi hoti hai to fir distraction kam hota hai is the best time to meditate to do any productive activity or either you can plan your day if you choose the second time jo 9 se 3 ke beech mein hoga usme aapka vat pitt kaf puri tarah se balance ho jayega neend acche se hui hai to aapko kabhi vat ka problem nahi hoga kaf mostly active hota hai raat ko aur subah early morning lekin agar aap sote rahe subah to kaf aapka imbalance ho sakta hai fir dinner ke aur sone ke beech mein 2 se 3 ghante ka gap rakhoge to kabhi aapko pitt ka problem nahi hoga if you have irregular sleeping patterns on a longer run you will always feel sleep deprived you will have hunger pangs you will have mood swings and 
irregular heartbeats which is not good at all there has always been a debate on which side you should sleep on which direction your bed should be so let's discuss that avoid sleeping in fetal position avoid sleeping on your stomach it will create unnecessary pressure on your heart and it will make your stomach grow round either sleeping straight keeping pillows under your knee and your lower back is recommended or sleeping on your left is recommended sleeping pillows it will keep the your spinal cord in the natural position sleeping on your left will help in digestion and it will prevent from heartburn next point is keep one single alarm and take little time and get up right away do not put too many alarms as it will confuse your brain and you may also get immune to too many alarms and you will not wake up eventually you should also avoid drinking tea or coffee before 6 to 8 hours of your sleep timing as it will disturb your sleep cycle also you should be keeping 2 to 3 hours of gap between your dinner and your sleep you can go for 15 20 minutes of walk not more than that also drinking too much of water before bed is not recommended as it will make you restless and you won't be able to sleep also working out late night is not recommended because you will feel fresh and active and you will not be able to fall asleep at least keep 4 to 5 hours of gap between your sleep and your workout so reduce and shut down your screen time be it laptop mobile or tv 1 hour before sleep as the light emitting from this gadgets will confuse you the light emitting from this gadgets will confuse your mind and brain and you won't be able to fall asleep now let's talk about the direction of your bed geographical recommendations if you live in india you should avoid keeping your head to the north as earth is a very large magnet and has north and south poles as india comes in the north hemisphere we should not keep our heads to the north because north and south poles have the maximum magnetic pull so this magnetic pulls will create unnecessary pressure on your brain and you will not have a sound sleep now finally let's discuss what you can do to get a good night sleep first wear loose clothes get rid of undergarments if necessary next is room temperature keep room temperature according to your comfort thirdly keep your room dark clean and quiet your bed should not be too soft or too hard and keep your bed clean at least clean the mattresses and the bed sheets once or twice a week you can give yourself a massage you can have a good head massage or you can just give massages to your feet with some oil also take bath and if you don't want to take bath at least clean your feet hands and face girls you can go for night time routine you can also read some books or journalize or you can plan out the next day write down the things that you want to do the next day also some meditation will help start focusing on your breathing and you will start falling asleep if you're someone who needs little bit of light in the room you can light some candle or diya or you can burn some essence stick for that nice aroma so that's all guys about sleep in this chapter from the beginner series and it will certainly help you achieve a good health on a long run If you sleep well it has many benefits as the growth hormone is mostly active in your deep sleep it is very important to have a sound sleep it will also balance your hormones it will help you lose weight it will improve your brain function it will improve your physical activities it will recover the muscles and restore the energies for the next day a good night sleep will help you achieve a good memory healthy brain functions and most importantly good emotional well being so see guys there are so many benefits of sleeping the right way if you do it you will have numerous amount of benefits out of it it will keep you away from so many diseases as well so if you like this video give it a thumbs up it will motivate me to make more such vlogs comment down below what you want me to do next and also share with the ones that you think need such kind of vlogs and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will be coming up with the next chapter real soon and hit that notification bell i'll see you guys thank you so much